I think it did surprise us to see the change in the techniques with which China was targeting mm -hmm. the U.S. I think everybody was very familiar with, you know, looking for intellectual property, going after the big and the small companies, but for espionage to, you know, steal secrets exactly. for their own gain. Rather it was definitely a change in technique to see that. And I think that was really something that we needed to work together to fully understand. Mm -hmm. We had you know, cybersecurity companies coming into us saying, we are seeing this actor, they look incredibly sophisticated, we believe it's China, but they're not doing normal things we see. It's non-intelligence targets, it's living off the land, it's just making sure they have access every couple of months. Can you help us understand that? And that's when it's important for us to go back and look and say, what do we see from a plans and intentions perspective, and is it changing? And we were able to put those puzzle pieces together to say, Yes, this is a serious change in you know traditional espionage to prepositioning that the entire community should be concerned about. And fair to say, it helps the U.S. government as well. I mean, we're getting oh. much better visibility, and and, and attribution is improving, right? Attribution is improving, I think, across the board. Industry is exceptional at attribution these mm -hmm. days as well. I think we all follow you know the diamond model of understanding where are they coming from, what are they targeting, what's mm -hmm. the tools and tradecraft they use, and who the actors are, and so. When it came to that, our goal was the U.S. government is never going to be able to hunt across all critical infrastructure and detect and eradicate China, who has a huge cyber force that's trying to preposition in the U.S. What we can do is partner with our industrial base and equip them to hunt for it. So that was really our focus was how do we work with interagency partners and industry to expose this trade craft of living off the land that we hadn't seen before and really unleash the cybersecurity community in the United States to find it and eradicate it on the U.S. government's behalf. And frankly, we see that all the time. They are coming in to tell us we see this sector being targeted. We're working with this one and we're and we're getting them out of our networks.